Hey, Ryan Stassen here again with Accelerate Marketing. And one of the questions that I get a lot is once somebody has found a target location for their LSA page, like a, a physical address, and or at least a, a city, the next step is that they want to find a physical address. A lot of attorneys ask us, like, how do we find out like the best physical address and location? And, and where do we put that actual physical address so that we get the most chance to get the most number of leads? So the best way to do this is if you identify a city, one of the previous videos, and we'll, we'll actually put the video above here so that you can actually go to it, which explains like how you identify your next best location by population and competition. Once you identify that city that has the least amount of competition and the highest population, you want to put your physical location for your office as close to that city central as possible, like downtown if you can or closest to wherever the largest part of the population is. For example, if you're a realtor, you might want to put your location closest to that suburb or that development that you actually want to start working. If you're a PI attorney, wherever most of those accidents happen, you want to put your, your actual physical office located as close to those people are most likely to search because that's part of the algorithm. You're going to be more likely to show up first when that person searches from their phone and your office is physically located closest to them versus everybody else, when they actually do that search, when they get in the accident or they decide they want to sell their house or they, whatever it is that they want to do that your ad could show up in local service ads for. So that's number one. Number two is how do you actually find that location? Okay. So let me just show you. So you just go to this tool here. It's free. It's called LoopNet. Okay. And it's available for everybody. And all you have to do is type in um, your location. So you would say, let's say I want to find something next to where we're at right now, Jupiter, and for lease. The magic really happens here when you actually go to the next step where you identify the pricing and the square footage that you're looking for. You don't need a big office. You only need to put a desk in there and a phone. You want to be able to put your placard outside in case Google does a video walkthrough tour or they want a video walkthrough. But like, let's say for example, we want for lease. We want the lease rate to be a certain amount and square foot per month. So let's say you really only need something like 500 square feet or I mean, you don't even need that. You need 10 by 10. Say so you can get by with 200 square feet. So two with a max of three, you could say available space. We want a minimum of 100 square feet to a maximum of 200 square feet. And then that's it. And then you press enter and it says nothing matches your, your criteria. So we're gonna have to go back here. You know, maybe we have to go up here to five and then there you go. 135 square feet to 2,739, $2 to $3 and 15 cents uh, per square foot per month. And that's what we're looking for. So I want you to see that. It's really simple to find these, okay? Here's 195 square feet to 1,300 square feet. So now you've got two locations in this area near Jupiter. Here's one, 285 square feet, second floor. This is the address. Here's another one that's only 135 square, that's perfect. Here's all the specifics about it. And all you got to do is just reach out to um, the listing agent here. That's how you do it. That's how simple it is. Okay. So I just want you to see that you can find your own office space if you're really looking for it and save yourself some money and really keep it simple. As long as you use that previous video on how to find the best cities and then you'll want to, again, make sure that this location is as close to those people that are most likely going to be searching for you because you're going to set up a Google business profile page first, and then you're going to set up your LSA page. Okay. You always want to set up that Google business profile page first and then set up the LSA page. So let me know if this makes sense. Go ahead and like and comment, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to have my editor also put some videos above here that you can watch that will help you further learn about local service ads. And if you have any questions, again, please comment, or you can just contact us directly by going to our website, which is accelerateyourmarketing.com. And you can also just text us directly at 619-304-5155. So I hope this makes sense. Really simple way to identify 
a new location for yourself and keep it really inexpensive and really to optimize it for um, you to get the most business from Google and from the internet by leveraging that strategy that I talked about, about the population, and then also leveraging the concept of putting your office closest to where most of the people are going to be searching or that you want to be searching for you, that you want to be found by. Okay. Hope that makes sense. Make it a great day. Bye-bye.